say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Are you waiting for it, yeah? You can go on your back. <laughs> <laughs> we got it! Are you happy now? Yay! <laughs> we got it! We don't have to help her anymore. We just have to ask if she wants to go on her back. And she's gone. Unlike the odd occasion, her butt's a little bit too far back and we have to pull it forward. Yeah. But. So Yay. Cute. Hey, Gorge. Hi. <laughs> I already gave it to them. Maybe one more? Okay. These are calming treats. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. We've just had some awful thunder oh, start. It's really big, wasn't it? It's okay. This one really hates thunder. Yeah, she gets really scared and hides and shivers and pants and everything. Alba tends to go a little bit wild. So we're hoping that these calming treats will help. They got like specific like relaxants that are safe for dogs and that. Um we're for shop. Thank you. Uh, and uh the bird scare is going off as well. Is that what that was? Yeah. Because we live right next to the countryside the which farmers I'm, have just what? I was just gonna say, which I want to point out, we've lived for five years. I think plus, this went off last year. I don't remember that. Yeah, plus, I do. Obviously, we, I I grew up in the countryside, and we never had anything like this. Yeah, so never. It depends what crops they've planted, but basically, they've just planted crops, and they're obviously having issues with birds at the moment. So they have this bird scarer that goes off every hour, something like that. Really? And it sounds like a shotgun. And that obviously then scares the girls. Such fun. Mm. You're okay. Aren't ya? Are you okay, am I, Mum? Yeah. Look at that little girl. Oh, look at those little. You're so pretty. How was Is that? that you? Is that you? to look at myself now. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I have to keep checking. Oh, what you birds? burped. I burped. Did they see it? Yep. Oh, no. Are you gorgeous? Am I? <laughs> oh, Alba, you're so special. You're okay. Oh, just bumped you on the nose. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. You're all right. It's okay. You're doing good. Well done, girls. Thank you. So we're gonna go protect these girls because we don't know how long this is gonna go on for. And they're they're quite bad ones. Yeah. yeah. Fun.
the entire time. Just the entire time. No. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So, what I was just showing you, um, I got so binoculars. I think it was like oh, it was a good few years two, ago. three years ago now, and we were doing stuff on there like no one, and it just kind of got like you have to pay for everything. And because it wasn't like no, I mean. It's really cool, it's really fun and everything, but because the Oculus itself has come a long way since mm. this version, yeah. a lot of stuff you can't get on there or um, like it won't work or it's stuff that you need two handhelds for and this one doesn't have two, it only has one. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot of things like that situations, but yeah. continue. Um, I watched a programme a little while ago about like weight loss and all the... Like, the in-depth stuff in the body more so and they were doing a study and then they brought up some virtual reality stuff about helping to lose weight so i thought i'd have a hunt on to the, on the store on there to see if we could find anything um there was a bunch of free stuff but like the reviews were really shit yeah because i've tried looking before like every time i've gone on there i've tried looking for more stuff and for starters anything that was free sport related like you said had bad reviews but secondly there i didn't find much that you could do on there that was sport related mm. most of it's like um it's not really like getting your body moving no it's more like virtual tours of places or like yeah. um being at concerts or games that are like um you use you like point in a direction and click OK, and then that's like you sort of fa end up facing that way digitally. Mm. And you don't have to like move really. Yeah. So they were they were all a bit rubbish. So I had a bit of a Google and s tried to see if there was any that were specific for this type of Oculus, um, and I found one. It was five ninety nine. So we had to wait for payday, which was recently. So I got it today, and. It's kind of a mixture of like Just Dance and Guitar Hero where things come at you like virtu vir virtually and you've got to try and hit them in the direction it's going and change the colours and stuff like it's that. It's a lot to process. It, it is. It's really good fun. So it's good for like the mind and also it gets you moving. Mm -hmm. The one thing we've been trying to find is ways for me to try and lose weight with not being able to stand up and physically get up and do stuff Sorry, yeah you just had like a whole pickle when you... <laughs> um so when i found this i was like i think this could be really good mm. um and i was playing on it while sophie's doing the dishes and cooking tea um and then i got her to play on it um after tea and it's really good it is the only issue we're finding is that for whatever reason the oculus keeps going black it's really weird because the screen goes black, but you can still hear it audibly. Only sometimes. Mine didn't. Mine stopped completely. Oh, and the, con the for me, the controller worked as well. Wherever it's just the, the Oculus needing to be properly charged because it's not been used in a while. Possible. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so I'll leave it, it on charge now. I can try it again later or tomorrow or whatever and see how we go, but it's really good fun. Yeah. So if you have an Oculus... Give it a whiz. Yeah. The music that you're going to have heard, though, with watching Soph, isn't the song that Soph's doing. Um, I've had to remove that music because otherwise it's going to get copyrighted and whatever else. So it's completely different music, which is probably why it looks completely out of time. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, that's the reason. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we're going to chill now. Yes. Because we're knackered. I like felt wet, but oh. There's a gift in there for you. In the cupboard. Oh, 
Hello, hello. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> what the heck? I tried to write you with my left hand so I didn't have to move it. <laughs> Which is why it's... Is that what happened? <laughs> but I was doing my teeth and I was just like... Hello, hello. <laughs> why is this salt in the bathroom? We were, we were saying that we needed salt, we weren't we? We couldn't find it. No. It's like... Hang on. <laughs> How have we not seen that? I don't know. This time. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and as soon as I saw it, I need to write it on there. <laughs> <laughs> you did, and you did, and I appreciated it. <laughs> <laughs> Before she was pulling the lid like this, every time Soph would lift it up. What's in there? What's in there? Oh! Let me out, Mum! Let me out! Holy crap! Holy crap! Wow! So I've just finished making these. Um, they're going to be a gift for somebody on Instagram. Um, their little girl, Phoebe, recently just passed away. She had a heart condition, had a heart transplant, but died suddenly like at the end of June. So we've got those, which are pop sockets, and then key rings. And I've never done a double-sided picture engraving before, nor have I resined the picture into the engraving either. So that was kind of cool. And then I put little angel wings on the little lanyard, a pink tassel. I asked them um, what colour they think Phoebe liked and they said pink so I thought about that and then there's on each of them there's this actual super heavy boxing glove because when Phoebe was first born when she was in the NICU they had some boxing gloves with her name going across the wrist bits and they were put and uh, into like the little cot thing and uh, written with her when she was first born so they're really cute and they are really heavy these we were surprised at just how heavy they are but now that they're done I can package them up and ship them to America
Not this little boy, is it she? No. on the bench not only did she bring up the camera but she said she hit record go, sh go look at mama's camera you yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. can have it you can have it do you want this no do you want this do you want this no. this? yeah I'll, I'll throw a uh, hi ma'am thank you she's on a mission she's in a, just in a mood a playful, I've got to find everything new, yeah. as you've just seen. They both are. Pickle's, like, on a mission to stand and hurt me, plus being terrified of, like, the window. And then Alba's on a mission to get everything. And both of the girls, mostly Alba, but both of the girls are sitting, staring into the spare bedroom, and we don't know why. No. And then they have to literally both be as close to me as physically possible, if not on me. We don't know what's going on with them. On my head. Ah, <laughs> you're cute. You're really cute. <laughs> well, that was better than what Pickle did earlier. <laughs> yeah. Dixie bit her bum. We think it was actually her claw, but we don't actually know. It was either her claw or her or her mouth came in contact yeah. with Soph's bum. And bruised it and made yeah. it really sore. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as cute as that bum. This is my butt. Yeah. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Alba's got a bum. Alba, are we talking about your bum? Have you got a bum? Oh, yes, my bum. I better sit <coughs> on that. Well, I'm You're sure. You're gorgeous. Please don't go back. No. Are you gorgeous? I need to put this down in preparation for garbage. What are you doing down there? Oh, I okay. hug you. Okay. Yay. Did we get the back situation on camera? What back situation? Can I give them back? I think so. We did. Okay. I'm not sure. I was going to go to do it. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Sit here a minute. No, no, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Do you want to go on your back?
guys, the back door's been open. I've just come into the kitchen and this is on the cupboard. That's one of the biggest slugs I've ever seen and it's freaking disgusting. Look. Ew. Let's get removing that bad boy. So, update about mum. She is home. Um, the ECG with her heart, a like higher up doctor looked at it and have like they've determined that it's the things that are coming up are the bits that we already knew about. Um, they haven't identified where the f infection is, and they've not done anything about it either, which is a little not bit rubbish. They've no. Not even given her antibugs. no. So you would think that at least giving her some or antibugs would help. Um, the CT of her <clears throat> head and neck was fine. There was like no damage from the fall. Although it has shown that she now has arthritis on her C1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 I think it is which is basically the whole of your neck um so yeah that's not really good um she has had arthritis for quite a while but we didn't like and we knew about like other parts of her spine but we didn't know about this lot in her neck so that's a little bit crap but yeah otherwise she's all right just bruised bruised and hurting um it was my sister's birthday today, so she spent the day with my mum. I think they went out for lunch and then just went back to my mum's place and I'm hoping that she rested. Because so. I don't really want to go out and about much now. Um, so yeah, she's just going to be taking it steady for the next few days and maybe potentially slowing down a little bit. I don't know. <sighs> I'm also trying to find something as well that might be able to help alert us if she has another fall. Because there are these things that you can wear around your neck or wrist, but the problem is it's like £5 a week. Which, £20 a month doesn't really sound like a lot, but she's not someone that falls a lot. It's kind of every now and then. So if you're paying £20 a week for a fall every now and again. I think the last time she fell was a few years ago. So that is a lot of money if you're not using it regularly. So we're trying to figure out if we can do something through our ALEXA. Um, <laughs> I'll save you all if you have one. Because um, there is a way that you can call for it, but when we still can't figure it out yet. So if you know, help. <laughs> We'd yeah if not we're trying to find something else that's not expensive or costly at all just for peace of mind because like I said yesterday me and Nan are really far away and my sister although close she's still a little way away and yeah it's just it's, it's all a bit worry. crap yeah it's just something that you do worry about and when parents get old and if they end up on their own mm. but at least she's out of hospital and there's no serious damage and she's doing okay yeah um but yeah other than that it's kind of been a chilled out day so thanks for coming on to us <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone good night